Now, buying a new home can be exciting, stressful, and of course, expensive. But there's a growing concern about so called fake freehold charges for owners of new builds. Well, these are charges usually in the form of an annual fee for the upkeep of communal areas, despite the fact that you own the house and the land that it's built on. And those charges often go up year on year, as Mark Price reports. Three years ago, Debbie Bunn bought her dream home on a brand new development. She pays council tax, but is now being made to find an additional amount of money each year for the upkeep of grassy spaces near a home. We can't see the grass, we can't we don't use it, but actually we're having to pay for it. Traditionally, the council would adopt or take over the new estate, but more frequently, this isn't happening. It means tens of thousands of freeholders are being forced to pay fees to a maintenance firm. Initially, the first £57, we weren't concerned. You know what it's like. You first moved into a new home, lots going on, you don't really think about it. As the years have gone by and the amount's increasing, um, that, bit, that does get you more angry. The National House Building Council tell us last year over 123,000 new homes were registered to be built, more than 11,000 of those across the West Midlands alone. But it's thought many are subject to estate charges, which are often written into the deeds and can be uncapped. And we've got um, 700 estates on our database. It's um, uh, affecting a lot of people and increasingly so. But the housing industry has told us the costs are always explained before people go ahead with the purchase. It's really important that we don't just build houses for people. What we want to do is create a community, create an environment for people to live in. Andrew, you speak for the home building industry. Would you buy a, a new build house with one of these estate charges? Can you hear me OK? Is everything working? I heard your question, Matthew. Are you declining to answer? Yeah, I think I am declining to answer and, and, and because what I think is, is irrelevant. It's really important that you know what you're signing up to and what future liabilities you're signing up to. And it's up to your legal representative to point all of those conditions out to you. But now campaigners are calling on the government to act. The freeholders that are paying these service charges, they're kind of in a little pocket. They're a forgotten group, I often would say. There's no one that they can actually um, remediate this with, essentially. So this is where freeholders are forgotten. And I think that there does need to be some change in leg legislation. The costs are designed to keep estates looking neat and tidy. The local government associations say where councils no longer adopt new build estates, it's only right they ensure developers have plans in place for maintenance arrangements. Meanwhile, in a statement to ITV News, the Ministry of Housing say they are bringing in legislation to give freeholders more rights to challenge the charges and will do so as soon as parliamentary time allows. For Debbie, that can't come soon enough. The joy of buying what should have been her dream home has been overshadowed by extra costs. Matt Price, ITV News.